because our next article is about quiet landing airplanes, and it's these researchers from Texas A&M University, and they're finding a way to reduce the amount of noise that an airplane makes when it's taking off, and specifically, actually, when it's landing. Um, and this is a pain both, point for us. That you, yeah, I think we're going to say it. Yeah. I don't know if people know it. We live very close to Dulles International Airport, so we hear airplane noise a lot. And I didn't know this, but it might be a little alarming to you. It is alarming to me. The noise that airplane makes is actually really harmful to humans. So uh, it's considered a public health issue. Uh, it disturbs sleep, which I know because I've been woken up by an airplane before. But it's also, in the long term, it's damaging to your hearing. They advise against raising children near airports. And it also leads to increased risk of stroke and heart disease. So... Uh, so we should move. That's I what you're are, telling me. Yeah, yeah you it's and time I are at increased risk of stroke and heart disease because of living close to an airport. I didn't know this, but it makes sense that researchers are focused on reducing the amount of noise that a plane makes. Um, during takeoff, the noise can't be minimized much without a lot of like extreme engineering on reducing the amount of noise that the engine makes because that makes when sense. The plane is taking off. The engine is at full thrust. It's mm -hmm. actually one of the only points during an entire flight that the engines are at full thrust is when the plane is taking off. But during landing, the engines are basically just idling. So that awful screeching noise you hear when a plane is landing, interestingly enough, is actually just because of the shape of the wing. And that's the wings vibrating that's making that screeching noise when they're landing. Wait, what do you mean? Is it like one of those so, xylophones where when you hit the bar, it vibrates and that's it? it it's, it's pretty similar. So it the way I like to think about it is it's the way that a flute makes noise. So um, when you play the flute, you know, the person playing it blows air around the main hole in the flute. Okay. Creates this turbulent air, and that causes vibrations throughout the rest of the flute, which resonates at that frequency to make the noise louder. So when a plane is landing, the wing shape changes. So the front edge separates from the main wing, which creates these little slack coves. Um, and it helps it land better, And it, but basically it creates this turbulent air, that creates a whistling noise that resonates throughout the wings, and that's that oh. loud, screeching, unpleasant noise, just because of this little gap between the leading edge and the rest of the main wing. So, so, so the the wing opens up with the slats. When it does open up, there's these little cavities, and the the wing is vibrating, and there's turbulent air, and those holes make the loud noises that annoy you and I, and is probably going to give us some heart issues down the road. That's what you're telling me. Yeah, basically that's it. Cool. And so takeoff and landing are the two loud ones. You can basically, they're saying, eliminate most of the noise from landing using this new technology, which is they make an S-shaped fin to fill this cove where the air is being very turbulent. By adding this S-shaped fin, they're able to almost completely reduce the turbulent airflow, which significantly cuts down on the amount of noise that a plane makes during landing. How much is significant? So it's kind of hard to measure, and I dug a little bit into this research to understand it. Basically, they, they use a measure called EPNDB, which is basically the effective EPN. perceived noise in decibels. So EPNDB, effective perceived noise in decibels. Basically meaning if you or I are standing on the ground, how many decibels of noise from an airplane flying by actually reach our ears? Um, so it's comparing the noise from the airplane in comparison to everything else going on around that area At, as as a person who's a bystander nearby the airport. gotcha and it can reduce the noise of an airplane by about four decibels which doesn't sound like a lot but because of the decibel scale being exponential the way it is it's actually a lot of noise reduction so eight decibels separates the quietest commercial airplane and the loudest commercial airplane so four decibel decrease you can basically make oh. the loudest airplane average and the average airplane the quietest. quietest and the very quietest airplanes can be quieter than they've ever existed before. So that's actually very, very significant. Noise very impressive. Just from these little S shaped fins that fill the slat coves. And this team from Texas A&M, they did a lot of research into how to create a shape memory alloy, basically meaning they use a stack of materials. They're thinking either steel or carbon fiber and an elastomer that will allow them to create these fins that pop up when the plane is trying to land and then they'll lay flat during the rest of flight so it won't disrupt the plane so it's really really interesting they've done a lot of computational tests they've done a lot of modeling and their next step is to create scale models on a scale model plane and put it in a wind tunnel and see if it actually works the way they expect it to that is so impressive i'm always blown away by the little modifications you can make to airplanes 
to give like huge outcomes. I, I don't know if you remember this, but the little winglets you see at the end of a airplane wing that was like developed by NASA a while ago, and they they said it reduced um, fuel consumption by like four to ten percent. And you scale that to every airplane in the world, and imagine like how much reduction that was, and where we are today. Now imagine if you start incorporating these, how much quieter you can make airports and flight in general. And- I, it seems to me, I'm not sure about this, but it would be awesome if these fins can be retrofitted to existing planes. Mm-hmm. So we won't have to wait for it to roll out to future planes. We might be able to just put these memory, uh, shape memory alloy fins inside the slats of all the existing airplanes and overnight that would be great. reduce the amount of noise that all these planes are making during landing. And, and noise is like a big thing with air travel. I know we talked about it when we discussed uh, Boom Supersonic. Yeah. Yeah. It, sound is a huge, huge problem. So whoever can minimize it, even like a small amount, like you were saying, four decibels might not sound like a lot, but in comparison, it's a huge difference. Yeah. Um, it, it could really make a huge impact on people's lives that live close to airports like us. Yeah, it's close to home. <laughs> Definitely.